Hello everybody, welcome to another WWE Mattel Retro Figure video and this is episode 3. Thank you so much for tuning in and Happy New Year. Hope you all had a great Christmas and I hope you're all enjoying 2019. I hope it's a great start for you all, I really do. Right, me personally, I've not had a chance to do much videos on YouTube as you've probably seen of late. Uh, so I am going to try and be regular on YouTube as much as I can, but it's not going to be as consistent as much as I want it to be. But I am going to try my best, so please bear with me. Okay, so Retro Mania has been fantastic over the Christmas period. We did very well on there, um, and we did a lot of things for charity. We did, we did so many different things. It was great. So if you get a chance, go through the Retro Mania page and have a look at all the stuff that we have been doing. I've even posted some other posts up today, just talk about some of the pickups I've picked up and some of fan acknowledgement because I've been getting um, some great people acknowledging Retromania, acknowledging Black Hat TV um, and also acknowledging my my wrestling career. Um, a lot of you don't know, I don't know if you know, but now you're going to know, is I used to wrestle a lot back in the day. Uh, that was something I love, it's my passion. It still is my passion to this day, but I've just got other other directions that I go now so I'm not really going there but I have got videos available to watch on YouTube so check that out so the video that is on my actual page is a live video that I did and a fan reached out to me so I sent them some free gifts and so on but if you go to the page it's all on there for you guys yeah right so we're, now we've got that out of the way we're going to talk about the retro figures my god where do I start since the last time I did the other video there was only a few series out, there wasn't a lot. Now all of a sudden we're up to series eight. There's so many out there, it's madness. So let's talk about the ones that I've picked up and then what we're gonna talk about is the ones that are available and we're gonna talk about the ring and stuff like that. So it's gonna be good, so stay tuned. Let's get straight into it right now. So I picked up Dean Ambrose. I had to get Dean Ambrose. Um, I need to get as many to obviously sort out my collection to get it complete. The Dean Ambrose is one that I did want and these ones are series 3 which is good. Some of them come with a platform which is good. I think they all come with a platform in series 3. I'm not too sure. Um, so I've got this one. I really like this one. This is nice. Um, and what I like about it is like we know they're trying to do the same sort of style as the WWF Hasbro's. So which is good. So they are pretty good, I do like them, um, so this is really really nice and yes I am op opening it, people on my page said no don't open it, I'm opening it and I'm doing it right now because I want to see, I want to put them on my shelf, my other babies, oh that's nice look at that, that's not too bad, I hope they do another Dean Ambrose now because obviously he's changed his style, so but it's all good. It is all good, and I'm gonna put this one on the platform. Oh, that's lovely. So we got Dean Ambrose, and Goldberg was what I wanted. I really wanted Goldberg. I did want Goldberg, and when I found Goldberg, I was like, I have to have it. I really do. These at the moment are selling in home bargains for $4.99. So if you can get them, get yourself down to home bargains, get yourself some of these. The retro figures are awesome. My partner didn't think much to Goldberg. She thought he looked. It didn't look great at all. But me, I think I'm just biased. I love wrestling stuff. So to me, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're gonna open this one. And this one comes with a signature platform as well, which is nice. So let's get this one out. So we've got the platform there. And then we've got the, the figure, which is quite nice. I actually do like this one, actually. Yeah. Yes, yeah, nice, really, really nice. Little platform, so we put that one there, and then we have Seth Rollins. Yeah, I did want this one as well. I, I've been trying to get. I was gonna order these um, online the other day. You know, I went into town and when I found them in home bargains, I was just like, nah, I've got to grab it. So I'm really, really happy that I managed to get hold of this. Glad I was patient, to be fair, because I haven't bought retro figures for a while. And that was the time I thought, you know what, let me just have a look around and see what it's about. Then when I found that, I was like, this is what I'm talking about. And this one's quite nice, I do like this one. It's really good, I like you push up and let them go and then fly. 
so that's really good and that one comes with a stand as well I think all series 3 comes with a stand um, so which is good and then we have AJ Styles as well good old AJ and you can go to Mayhem Game uh, go to Google Play you can download it from Apple Store so you can put these part of a game you can scan them I guess that's alright I see something about it but I'm not bothered about it yeah shows them there which is really nice so these retro things I think they're good I don't think Mattel are doing as well as they thought they would uh, I think the first series one I don't think kicked off as much as they thought it would do um, but I think if you're a wrestling fan and you're a fan of the 90s Hasbro you're gonna buy these you're gonna like them um, a lot of people argue and say they're not exactly as good as the Hasbro's which they they're not but it's the next generation that's how I look at it it's the next generation the current generation so um, they've got to do it but I think it's really nice I see they bring out so many other ones which we are gonna get into so they bring out loads the ring they've brought out a lovely ring the ring is amazing um, I'm really happy with the ring um, I've not got one myself I wasn't really bothered about getting one um, at the moment in my basement I've got a lot that I need to sort out in here because um, my collection is getting a bit crazy because uh, I've got a lot of this a lot of that and some things I'm like do I need that do I get rid of that so I'm kind of deciding that but we're going to talk about it, okay? So in Series 1, WWE Retro Series 1, you get Brock Lesnar, you get Kevin Owens, John Cena, Roman Reigns, and the Ultimate Warrior for Undertaker. Series 2, you get Kane, Mankind, The Rock, Sting, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Triple H. In Series 3, you get AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, Goldberg, and Steph Rowland. So basically I've got all of Series 3, which is good. In Series 4, you get Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, second version, um, Ric Flair and Sami Zayn. In Series 5, you get Big E, Kofi Kingston, Macho Man Randy Savage and Xavier Woods. In Series 6, you get you get Dean Ambrose. Sorry, you get Daniel Bryan. Sorry, you get uh, Shakamora. You get Sting, and you get Barry Wyatt. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. Guys, some of these figures are amazing. Series seven, you get Chris Jericho, Kurt Angle, Shawn Michaels, and Sheamus. Now, my partner says she's not a big fan of the way Shawn Michaels looks. She said he doesn't look that great at all. Uh, I think he looks alright. I think I just need to get hold of him. As soon as I get hold of him, then I'll do my thing and do my own sort of assessment. Uh, series 8, you get Braun Strowman, Jeff Hardy, Iron Sheik, and Zack Ryder. Oh, Series 8 looks quite nice. Series 9, you get Gold Dust with hair. You get uh, Samoa Joe, Randy Orton, and, two, and more to be announced. So that's quite good. So Mattel have done really, really well. Um, with all these sort of things you know they're doing good they're knocking them out um, I think what would be great is if they did more of the legends as well try and get them more legendy because with the Undertaker a good Undertaker they've done um, a retro sort of uh, Ultimate Warrior so the Undertaker have done retro they're not done modern because some of them like the AJ Styles are modern day uh, so I'm hoping they bring out more legends, uh, which would be fantastic because that would be amazing. Like if they brought out a legend sort of Shawn Michaels with the heart trousers, brought a legend Bret Hart, you know, uh, brought a legend's Anvil Hart. All these other characters, the list just goes on. So the Mattel, there's so much they can do with these retro figures. Um, but I'm just so happy that they're doing this line because. I love the Hasbro's, you know, in earlier videos, me doing YouTube, I'm always talking about Hasbro's. So for them to do these ones is good. And Mattel have got it cracked down. I mean, Jax used to do figures really good. The lightness of the Jax figures were amazing. But Mattel, that's all I'm buying mainly now. Unless if I'm buying to sell, then I know some customers will want it. But apart from that, I mainly buy Mattel because I find Mattel's really good. Um, and it's for me, you know. Um, so that is series three, guys. 
of the retro figures. I'm so happy. So let's just go over them. So we've got AJ Styles, yeah? We've got Dean Ambrose. And we have good old Goldberg. Yeah? And we have Seth Rollins. And they will be joining my other guys over here. So I've got quite a little bunch now. So I've got Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just to enlighten you all guys. We've got Kane. Yeah, we've got The Rock. We have The Ultimate Warrior. And then we have The Undertaker. So you see, so I like if they did a modern day Undertaker. That would be fantastic. And then I've got some carded ones, which we'll, I'm gonna put in another video because I feel like I've left them out. Which is Sting. So we've got the good old Sting. And then we have Triple H, Mankind. So these ones I'm going to be doing are probably on episode four of these retro figures. Yeah, I'll probably do them on episode four. Okay, and we'll unbox them and we'll go through them. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, the retro figures are great. They're really good. I recommend them. They're fun. Even for your kids who want to play with them, they're really good. I know full well. If I took these up to my girl, Natalia and Aaliyah, and I said, right, here you go, play with these, I know full well they would play with them. But I do think they're very catchy, they're great to have on the shelf, and if you have a Hasbro collection, it, it, this is a nice addition. It is a nice addition to have. And they're really good, they are very, very good. They look awesome. So, I'm gonna stick these on my shelf now because I, I want them all loose. I don't, I'm not bothered about them boxed. You know, I want them all loose. So, they're gonna look absolutely awesome on my shelf so guys thank you so much for checking out this video there's gonna be more videos to come so please bear with me say subscribe also hit that notification box join our page retro mania join me on twitter as well i'm always on twitter talking about my ps vita which i'm gonna be doing videos on that i'm always on twitter so you can holler at me at twitter i've got other social media accounts so check the link below okay thank you so much for watching thank you for supporting you all stay blessed and i'll speak to you all very soon bye bye